soldiers, one other killed as gunmen attack Benue community. The Nigerian army has revealed that one officer and 10 soldiers were killed in an attack on troops operating on a routine operational task in Benue state. This was contained in a statement issued by the army spokesperson Mohammed Yema on Thursday. According to him, the troops were initially declared missing and were later discovered dead in the Konshisha local government area of the state by a rescue team. It read the troops comprising one officer and 10 soldiers were initially declared missing, which prompted the deployment of a joint search and rescue team comprom comprising NA troops and personnel of Operation Well Stoke. The search and rescue team unfortunately found all the missing troops dead in Konshisha local government area of Benue State. While the bodies of the slain troops were evacuated immediately, efforts are ongoing to track down the perpetrators of this heinous crime with a view to bring them to justice. The NA, under the leadership of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru, remains resolute in ensuring stability in Benue State as well as other parts of the country that are affected by the activities of criminal gangs. The NA remains determined to ensure that this unprovoked attack does not disrupt the general peace being enjoyed by the local inhabitants. It stated that following the unfortunate event, the, the COAS has directed commanders on the ground to ensure sustained efforts in order to fish out and deal decisively with the bad elements who were threatening the peace in the area. The statement recalled that Benue State, which was a hotbed for violence clashes had been enjoying relative peace following the successes achieved by the various security agencies that have been working tirelessly to safeguard law-abiding citizens and ensure they go about their legitimate businesses without fear of harassment by criminals. It appealed to the public to volunteer useful information that would lead to the arrest of the perpetrators of the Dastardly Act, Sahara reporters can recall that at least 50 unarmed civilians were killed by military men in the area following reports that two soldiers were missing in the community. It was learned that troops of Operation World Stroke OPWS on Wednesday and Thursday morning invaded the community. The operation, which involved the deployment of military helicopters using missile launchers, left scores of unarmed civilians dead and property said to be worth billions of naira destroyed. About 200 houses, including the palace of Tior Una Koko in Agidi, and several cars in the village, which is now deserted, were set ablaze by these soldiers. Well, let's see what the reactions here say about this event. Someone says, heartless people, keep covering up the atrocities you unleashed on the innocent people of Konshisha, local government of Benue State. There is God in heaven that sees everything. Lies from the pit of hell. Okay, so this person says, trying to justify the killing of over 100 innocent unarmed civilians in Benue. The days of reckoning are fast approaching. Anticipate. Someone says the Nigerian military is an insult to military men of every other country. They are only strong when they meet unarmed people. Very, very sad. I, that's the thing. I think recently all the attacks have been gunmen, 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 which have been unknown. And you cannot tell me that these attacks are consistently happening and not even one. So they just all remain unknown for some reason. And uh, it's just, it's sad, but... um. Yeah, I, I I don't know what 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 position are the people of Benin now put in, or let's just even say from middle belt and the upwards. Like these are where the consistent attacks keep happening, and unfortunately, when the they are reported to us, it is always as unknown gunmen, unknown this, unknown always unknown. Um, so again, you you have to understand that some people receiving this news, there would be an element of doubt and suspicion as to why these men are always unknown. Uh, someone says. You want us to believe that after this killing, you want us to believe this after killing the innocent people in Benue State. Someone says, I will continue saying the truth. Nigerian military and Nigerian police are good in innocent civilians. When they meet their mate, they become soft like tissue paper. That is very, very true. I mean, it's they've been consistently proven to us that they can only fight unarmed civilians and innocent people. I mean, since 2009 or even prior to that, Boko Haram and other insurgents have been on the neck of this country and yet no we don't we don't tackle these issues with the utmost of the utmost severity that it deserves
But then these leaders have the right to keep stealing money, traveling abroad. They they know what is going on. And to be honest, after after this long, I I you you can't force people or make it seem like a far fetched idea that they think all these are deliberate acts. It's just been too consistent when we obviously have the resources to combat issues like this and they're not being used. You have to ask questions. Um, another person comments and says, "My and yesterday you you people reported that in Nigerian soldiers are killing innocent people in Benue. Useless and biased set of quack journalists. Do you believe that too? Someone says lies. The Nigerian military forces are hiding under this false narrative. And yeah, honestly, it's very very sad. It is very sad. Um, but." It's just, it is what it is at this point because, I mean, it's not it is what it is, but these things are consistent. Nothing is happening. Um, There has to be something. We have to go sign a petition. Well, I guess the only way to get through to these people is by bullying and we have to bully them into doing their jobs because it seems like as if peaceful protests and, you know, conversations, trying to dialogue, <laughs> that word doesn't work in the Nigerian context, but trying to dialogue with, with politicians to make them understand that they are, they are at fault for not using not allocating resources in the best way possible because they're stealing so much money and they'd have the best security best health system best everything yet they want to avoid this system that they've willingly destroyed they would not they would not send their children to go to the army and fight they will not put them through nigerian schooling they will not put them through the nigerian healthcare system so it is the absolute audacity that nigerians are paying taxes funding the lifestyle of these politicians yet when we call them to do their simple job, I mean, just even addressing the nation is a problem. They they, they don't even show respect when they address the nation because the 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 utmost the utmost um what's the word contemptuousness and the almost the almost disrespect they come to Nigerians just telling them whatever, thinking Nigerians will just take whatever information. I mean that shows the level of disrespect and they have just proven to Nigerians time and time again that they don't rate you guys and. It is very, very sad. But again, you cannot deceive the people every single time. You might deceive some people sometimes, but you cannot deceive everybody all the time. It will not work. There will be a number of people that would be like, you know what? That's an absolute lie. Someone says this is just to cover up the genocide committed against people of Konshisha. Absolutely. Because again, it's 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 so sad. So a hungry man is an angry man. And when you push him to the wall, he must react to reckless. We are tired of this unity. What unity? I don't think I can believe that. Someone says, provide security for the armed forces. Now their lives are at stake. Are their lives at stake or, their li- or, the, or, the, or, the, or the lives of the actual people? Because then uh, these people are meant to be the one protected. Sad, but put what I think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.